Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithbin.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to point your domain from GoDaddy to Bluehost. Now, if you purchased your domain name separate from your web host, you're gonna to have to make a few small changes in order for your blog to be viewed online. Reason being, your domain name needs to point to your web host's DNS before anyone can access and view your blog on the internet. And the way that that's accomplished is by configuring your name servers. Now I know I'm throwing a lot of jargon and technical terms around, but trust me, it's super easy to set up. I'm gonna show you how to do it step-by-step step in this video. Now, here's a quick example of why you need to configure your name servers. Let's say you purchased I Love Running from GoDaddy, but you purchased your web hosting from Bluehost. Now, if someone were to go to www.iloverunning.com, they wouldn't be able to access your site, and odds are they'd be taken to an ad page that's designated by GoDaddy. And that's because your domain name isn't pointing towards your web host, Bluehost. But all you have to do is reconfigure the name servers, and once you do that, you're going to be able to start building your blog, and other people will be able to access it online as well. Now for this tutorial, I'm assuming that you purchased your domain name from GoDaddy, and your web hosting from Bluehost. And all we're going to be doing is making a couple of quick changes so that whenever people enter your domain name online, they'll be taken to your blog. Finally, before we get started, I encourage you to subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. That way you can be the first to know whenever my new videos are available. Additionally, if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like it and leave a comment below letting me know how it helped you out. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So this video is yet another updated version of my previous tutorial because GoDaddy has made quite a few changes since 2019. They've obviously updated their brand, which looks great in my opinion, but they've also updated their customer portal, which has changed the steps you need to take in order to change the name servers. But no worries, it's still super simple, so let's get started. All right, the first thing you'll want to do is sign into your GoDaddy account. So I'm going to sign in really quick. Then you'll be taken to your product list and your domains will be the first products listed on this page. So find the domain that you want to point to Bluehost and click on that three dot icon in the upper right hand portion of the domain. Then from the drop down menu, select Manage DNS. And this will take you to your DNS management page. Then we obviously want to update the name servers. So if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the name server section there. You'll also see that they're currently using the default name servers but we'll want to update that and change them to the Bluehost name servers. This will ensure that our GoDaddy domain will point to Bluehost and display correctly when someone tries to access your blog online. So first, let's grab the Bluehost name servers. Now I should point out that the Bluehost name servers are gonna be the exact same regardless of where you find them. However, it's good to know where they are. First, I've put them in the show notes below this video, so you can easily access them there. However, the official way to access the Bluehost name servers are done through your Bluehost customer portal. And if we head over there really quick, this is how you do it. All right, so after you log into your Bluehost account, click on domains on the left-hand side of the screen. And this will bring you to your domain management portal. And then click the arrow next to the manage button. Then from the drop-down, select DNS. And then under the name servers section, which should be the first one there, you'll see the two Bluehost name servers listed, ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. Then all we're gonna do is copy and paste these name servers within GoDaddy. All right, so back at our GoDaddy DNS management page, to update the name servers, click the change button. then we're gonna be manually updating the name servers. So click that enter my own name servers link towards the bottom left hand side of the screen. Then within the two fields provided, paste the two new Bluehost name servers. So name server one will be ns1.bluehost.com and name server two will be ns2.bluehost.com. Then do a quick review to make sure everything looks good and it does. Then go ahead and click the Save button.
and you may get a security pop-up. So go ahead and check the box yes to give your consent and click the continue button. Then there may also be a two-step verification. So enter the code given to you and click the verified code button. And your request to change your name servers has been sent. Now, you may see an alert stating that some features may be unavailable while GoDaddy processes your update and that some updates may require confirmation via email. So just keep an eye out for that. Another thing I wanna point out is that if you're still seeing the default name servers under the records, as well as the name servers section, simply give your browser a refresh and the new Bluehost name servers should show up. Also, please note that your new DNS settings will begin to propagate as soon as you save your changes. And each internet service provider updates at a different rate, usually taking 24 to 72 hours to complete worldwide. So after you save your name servers, it may take a day or two to finalize. However, once the name servers are set, you can start building your blog with Bluehost. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.